Hey guys, be sure to check out our daily free play at our main website, stumpthespread.com, linked in the video description, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to continue to get all of our college football pick video plays. Heading into today's action, going to be talking about this matchup here between the Utah State Aggies coming over from the Mountain West to take on the Wisconsin Badgers from the Big Ten. Going to be a very challenging opening game here for Utah State, especially for a program that has been going in the wrong direction over the past half decade, and Utah State, they do bring back some uh, veteran leadership at the quarterback position with Kent Myers, but still have a lot of question marks coming into the year, which could very well be exposed in this one by the Badgers. This one opened with Wisconsin being about 37 point favorites. It has receded quite a bit, 10 points as a matter of fact, or just about to 27 and a half points. Wisconsin was one of the biggest disrespected team coming into 2016, not even ranked. They ended up having an extremely successful campaign, and although Wisconsin's getting a little bit uh, more buzz coming into the 2017 year, might also be a team that's getting overlooked again, especially playing in the Big Ten West, which is a very winnable division. And if they win that division, the Big Ten West with a great record and go on to win the Big Ten title game, this could very well be a team that slides into that college football playoff picture. But still, obviously, a lot of games to be played. Wisconsin going to be starting Alex Hornibrook, and he got some experience last year. Certainly a guy that can throw the ball down the field and uh, really be a good counterbalance here to what is a very strong Wisconsin ground game. So Utah State, the road team here, they're coming off a very tough 3-9 and nine season in 2016, and they also just went 1-7 and seven in conference play. This is a big step back for a Utah State program who's actually had been pretty solid in the Mountain West Conference uh, not all that long ago, but obviously uh, head coach Anderson, who really got Ohio or Utah State at a high level, went over, took the Wisconsin job. He's obviously not at Wisconsin anymore. He took the job over at Oregon State, but ever since head coach Anderson left Utah State, uh, it seems like their program has been going in the wrong direction. But the Aggies will be making some changes here offensively as they bring in offensive coordinator David Yost, who's going to speed things up and utilize this experience receiving core as a result. Even though I think it's an overall positive that Utah State's going to speed things up on the offensive side of the ball and throw a bit more, it could be uh, not the greatest situation coming into this one against a very elite Wisconsin defensive unit. It's one of those situations where it can be – a very positive thing to speed up your offense if you're able to consistently move the ball down the field, but Utah State could find themselves in getting into very quick three and out situations against this tough Wisconsin defensive unit, and if that's the case, they're going to be putting their defense in a very tough spot uh, where they're going to have to spend a lot of time on the field and could get very fatigued and uh, tired if they are having trouble consistently moving those sticks with their uh, faster paced offensive attack. Utah State, like I said, they have talent and experience at the QB position with Kent Myers coming back and also a stable of running backs that they can lean on. But a rebuilding O-line is certainly a concern for the Aggies. And if the O-line isn't able to open up holes or protect for Kent Myers, then having a guy like Myers and a stable of running backs isn't going to be all that helpful if the O-line isn't able to rebuild in an effective manner. Uh, there will also be a rebuild for this Utah State squad on the defensive line, which is another concern coming into this matchup against a Wisconsin team that loves running the ball. And if you're rebuilding your defensive line going against a Big Ten squad on the road that loves to run, uh, it could be a very long day for the defense coming to this one. The back end of the defense, however, looks to be uh, like a strength here for Utah State, and that could certainly help them more when they go against teams that are uh, more pass happy than Wisconsin might be coming into this one. The home team here, the Wisconsin Badgers, one of the more overlooked teams, like I said, going into 2016. They do have an outside shot at reaching the college playoff in 2017, playing through the rel relatively weaker Big Ten West. Wisconsin's defense dominated at times last year, and despite losing some of their top uh, players on the defensive side of the ball, they still return a lot of experience and should be one of the best overall defensive units in the Big Ten and especially the Big Ten West. On the offensive end, the Badgers continue developing QB Alex Hornibrook, who saw success last year throwing for over 2,000 yards. The O-line should be a strength and open up holes for running backs. Shaw and James will be primed uh, both so for breakout campaigns here, and they could both get off to a great start here against this Utah State squad, like I said, who has a rebuilding defensive line. So the key coming to this one uh, for Utah State will be able to slow that Wisconsin ground game a lot easier said than done. The Badgers are experienced up front on the O-line and should take advantage of a reformed Utah State defensive front. Wisconsin was, uh, they're generally a slower paced team, making large spreads sometimes difficult to cover. Um, 
But behind the strengths that they have in this particular matchup, it certainly could be one of those contests where they limit Utah State to very minimal scoring. And as a result, all they'll need to score probably in the upper 30s or so, which is very doable here to have a great shot at getting this cover of just under four touchdowns. So we're looking for Wisconsin to at least have a touchdown advantage in each quarter. And as a result, we see them as being a pretty solid value bet coming to this one, even as 27 and a half point favorites. So we are going to go ahead uh, and side with the home team heading into this one, taking the Wisconsin Badgers here straight up against the spread as our college football pick video play for today's action. And again, guys, to get our daily free play as well as all of our top confidence college football picks, you can check out our main website, stumpthespread.com, linked in the video description, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to continue to get all of our college football pick video plays throughout the regular season. So thanks for stopping on in. We hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.